Hello people of the internet, this is Jan Beta again. Um, this time I have on my bench here a Pioneer Stereo Amplifier A503R, which I basically got for free when I uh, bought a little PA system um, today. Um, this puppy was sitting <laughs> on the bottom of a box full of cables and other stuff, uh, most of which I uh, got for free um, because it would have been thrown out anyway. Um, it's a bit uh, bent on the top here, most likely some heavy thing hit it on the top. Otherwise, it looks as if this could work. I don't know anything about it. And I'm using this, um, yeah, this thing is nothing special. It's a um, solid little amplifier from the mid 1990s. Um, absolutely nothing special about it. Not the most um, high class um, thing. Um, it's just your usual 90s uh, amplifier. Uh, basically, everybody who lived in the 90s and was old enough to um, own a stereo system had one of this, or probably a much better one. <laughs> yeah. Um, so this is this is a solid thing. Um, I'm not a bit big fan of the Pioneer stuff, except the the really old Pioneer stuff from the 70s and 60s. Those are great little machines, but this is just a usual amplifier. What I'm going to do is to use this to show you what I usually do before I turn this even even turn this on. Um, this is a unit I don't know anything about, and I'm going to make some um, preliminary tests to rule out that this um, blows up um, violently and. Um, uh, in the worst case, uh, takes uh, some loudspeakers with it. Um, yeah, so I'm basically going to show you how I do uh, this to make sure that this uh, is a halfway working unit and won't damage any um, anything that's connected to it. Yeah, so I'm going to open this and show you some tests I do. So, I open this up and see what's inside. Let's see. All right. This looks nice. It seems to be a nice little unit. So what I usually do um, is to go through this with um, a brush and remove some of the dust and if it's um, dustier than this one I take out um, the compressor or the, um, the air and blow it out. Um, yeah, and what I usually do, I have a look around if um, anything looks burned or if one of these um, electrolytic caps is bent on the top, so um, that sh would show that it is damaged. But this looks quite healthy. Um, what I also do is to measure... Um, if there is a fuse, I better measure the fuse at first. I don't see any at first glance, but they are hidden um, under this thing here. They are under here. So I think I'm just going to turn this sideways. There are fuses in here, I don't know, here, somewhere in this area. There are the fuses which you can't see, um, but I assure you they are the fuses. That's uh, normally where they are, the power fuses, because um, here's where the, the power cord goes in and 
Um, usually there's a fuse, if the unit has a fuse at all, for the mains power. Um, on some older units there are also um, some extra fuses for the um, speaker terminals. With the newer units, it's most of the times it's um, relays and a little um, circuit that prevents um, that there's DC on the outputs, which would ruin um, the speakers connected to it. So, um, I think I'm going to measure... The first thing I do is uh, to measure the, the um, fuses, the mains fuses. If they are blown or if they are all right. And so... Let me get out my new fluke. You saw that in the, the video before. Um, I think, and uh, let's set it to, yeah, to test. And I test the, the mains power fuse, I think it is. Yeah, seems to work. There's another one. I don't know if there's a second power fuse. Yeah seems all right so now what i do i don't know if you can see that from that above these things here are the the power um, transistors for the amplifier stage and what i usually do um, if these are blown most of the times if one of these uh, blows um, it'll take out the mains fuse as well because these um, uh, explode quite violently um, but maybe one is broken and the relays um, prevented um, uh, further damage so maybe I will just check if there's a short between any of them no there's no short. This side seems to be correct. That's just me uh, slipping and uh, touching the probes together. No. So that's um, one of the first tests. The next test would be to power it on. So. What I'm going to do is suppress the power button, I think, and to see if this thing blows up at first. Oh, there's some relay clicking. Ah, that was the, the speaker relay, I think. Oh, it has a little servo that switches the inputs, which is this puppy here, which is quite unusual, even for the time. It also has a sensor for remote control here. So I don't know if that, yeah, that's probably the, the way they did it. They had, maybe they had units where this was a manual switch, which was turned, and um, they replaced it for this unit with um, this servo thing, so they could have uh, the buttons here to switch this, and they could uh, switch it via the, the remote control easily. Um, yeah, that's just the theory. So, yeah, it doesn't blow. It switches, it sounds a bit ill, I think. Uh, maybe I should um, clean this thing a bit and... Uh, apply some contact spray uh, on the pots and stuff but this doesn't seem to do something that it's not supposed to do so now it's uh, time for the next test which would be if there is DC on the uh, speaker terminals um, which is quite a simple test I will do this with my probes Stick it in here and be careful because this is all mains part at the moment. So I'm gonna do the speaker on, turn up the volume a bit, and as you can see, there's no DC at all. So that's good. In this modern units, it's there's hardly any DC because they have a protection circuit that should prevent just that. So it's 
highly unusual if you get DC. Um, yeah, I'll check the, the other channel as well. So, just let me check the other channel. This is running the whole time, so otherwise I couldn't check. Uh, there seems to be... So I switch this on, I turn the volume up. No DC at all, which is good. So, next step would be to connect some speakers to it and test if the input input works. So this has a soft power button, so I um, pull the plug anyway. You should pull the plug anyway, even if this has a proper power button. Um, yeah, just for safety, so there's you're sure that there's no um, voltage present on the on the input uh, terminals and stuff like that. Um, all right, the next step would be to connect some speakers to it, which I will do. What I need now is some audio source. So I connected the computer um, playing a one kilohertz sine wave. And now I'm going to check if there's anything coming out of this. Relay should click. Yeah, it clicked and there's the sine wave. Um, I'm going to check if both channels work by turning the balance, that was the left speaker, the right speaker. Yeah, they both seem to work just fine. So this seems to be a working unit. Turn that down, that's a bit annoying. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm just gonna have to clean all the pots and clean it up from the inside and the outside and I have a nice little um, amplifier for free basically. Um, so this video was about how I make sure that um, I don't blow any speakers or, or stuff like that. Um, if I turn a thing like this on, an amplifier I don't know anything about. Um, it could have been really broken and the, the transistors could have been shorted out and yeah, I don't know what, what not. Um, they could have been much worse and I could have blown a pair of speakers with this. Um, I basically showed you to check the, the voltage and to check to make a quick inspection of the um, parts and check the fuses, check the power amp transistors if they have a short. Um, yeah, basically that's what I always do before I power one of those up. Um, just to make sure I don't ruin any speakers because I did it uh, with the very first um, pair of test speakers I connected. I didn't check the amp I got connected up and I um, powered it on and they just instantly um, exploded, uh, liter literally. Um, so yeah, I got used to testing this before um, I hook them up to speakers, even if the speakers are just pieces of crap, basically, which these are. But yeah, you don't you don't have to ruin them if you don't have to ruin them, basically. So yeah, that's what I wanted to show you. Um, if you like this, if you want to see more like this, um, comment, subscribe to my channel. There's going to be a lot more like this. Um, yeah, spread the word, give it a thumbs up, that always helps on YouTube. Um, yeah, if you want to see me um, cleaning this and uh, basically finishing this off, um, which will be kind of boring, I think, because yeah, I just only have to clean some pots and stuff. But if you want to see that, um, comment on this and I might make a video. Um, yeah, basically quite happy with this. Uh, I got this for free, as I mentioned, and it seems to work. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. See you next time. I'm Jan Beta. Goodbye. Ow, 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 ow. Ha, ha, ha.